Hello guys, welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create a recycler view with images and text on it. From this video, you can learn about how to add an external library to your Android Studio project, how to use a recycler view with images and text, and how to use a card based layout in a recycler view. So first thing, we need to add the dependency for using recycler view. Open Gradle file. In this project, we are going to use a card view also. So you need to add the dependency for using card view. Now sync project. So here project sync finished successfully. Now I am going to convert the dependency into Android EX. So select the refactor and migrate to Android EX. So here a new version is available. Convert into new version. So in this project I am going to use a circular image view. So I am going to use an external library for circular image view. So I am going to use this library in my Android Studio project. So use copy the dependency for using this library. Sync project. So project sync finished successfully. So now we can add the needed resource for create the list. So here I have some profile images. Copy these images and paste it inside the drawable folder. We'll go to main activity. So here I create some string arrays and integer arrays. So here we have two array. First one is names that contain all the profile names and second one is an integer array that contain all the drawable resource file. Okay. So now we can create our custom layout for each item on the list. So open layout, create a new layout file. Custom list item. <coughs> so I change the root element into a card view. I'll go to the XML version of the layout. So here is height is much better and I change height into wrap content. Now specify an elevation for it, elevation 3dp. Now for apply the car corner radius we need one more xml namespace with identifier name app. And here change that one into resource auto. So by using the newly created XML namespace, we can apply the car corner radius into 3dp. Also, I am going to apply some margin for the layout, layout margin into 5dp. Also, apply some padding on it. 5dp. Now inside the card view create a linear layout with height width match parent height into wrap content and specify orientation. 
organization vertical. So within the linear layout first I am going to create the circular image view width into 75 dp height also I make 75 dp for testing purpose we can apply some image on it here change it into design only ok so now apply some margin on the left side and the 50 dp margin on left side ok <coughs> Now specify an ID for it. Profile profile image. Okay, so that's it. Now we can create a text view for display names. But into much parent height also I make into much parent. So it for testing purpose we can apply some text on it. So here we need vertical no vertical orientation, we need horizontal orientation. Okay. And throw it gravity into center vertical. And throw it layout margin left into 50 dp. Change the text size into 24 sp. Text style into bold. Also specify an ID for it. Profile name. So this layout is the custom layout for each item on the list. Okay, so now we can remove the unwanted components, no need of the text and no need of the SRC. Yes, so now we can create a model class for apply the list. So create a new Java class called uh, person. class I am going to create to one string variable person name now create an integer variable person image now create a constructor into these two parameters also I am going to add the getter methods for these two parameters for these two variables ok. So, this is the model class for the list. Now, we can create adapter. So, create a new java class I name it as recycler adapter. It is a class files or super class is adapter from recycler view. can create it one more time create a java class called the recycler adapter and our super class is adapter from recycler view click ok now create methods on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count now we can create our view holder class person view holder and this class extends view holder. So, here we need a constructor with the super keyword in it. So, here we need to create two variables text view person name and the circular image view 
person image. Now we can initialize these two variables from the constructor person name equal to item view dot find view by id person name. Now the second parameter second variable person image. Person, sorry, profile image. I think so. Profile image. So now the view holder is ready. <coughs> now we can specify the generic type for the class. That is our custom view holder class, person view holder. For the on create view holder method, the return type is an object of our custom view holder class, person view holder. And for the on bind view holder method, First parameter is an object of our custom view holder, person view holder. Okay. So now we can create a list, private list. This list contain object of our person class, person list. Okay. Now create a constructor for initialize that variable. Now from the get item count method we can return the size of the list. Okay. So now from the on create view holder we can create the view. Layout inflator and from parent dot get context dot inflate R dot layout custom list item now root parent and attach to parent we can pass false for it okay now we can return an object of our custom view holder class from this method so new person view holder and pass the view now from the on bind view holder we can attach the data to the view components. So get the image, get the object of person, person list dot get and pass the position. So first attach the name, so holder dot person name dot set the text, person dot get person name. Now we can set the image, person image dot set image results, person dot get image name get image. So now the adapter is ready. Now go back to main activity. So create a separate method for the list. Private point. Prepare the list. Create an array list. that contain object of person, person list is equal to new array list. So here create some variables called count into 0. Now start some for each loop, string name, names. Now create an object of person ok 
person equal to new person here you need to pass two parameter person name and person image so first pass person name and now get the person image so get it from the list images and pass the variable count now we can attach this object to the array list called the person list now increment variable count by one so from the on create method call this method prepare the list now we can create variables for the recycler view Sign color view equal to find the view by ID and uh, root ID. Yeah, we didn't add the recycle view to the main layout. Go to main activity. We have a text view, remove that one. Put a recycler view into this layout. Add the constraints. Now specifically create an ID for it, home recycler. Yes. Now check the layout. So here, here is the recycler view. Now specify the scroll bar. Enclose it scroll bar into vertical. And here the ID is home recycler. Now come back to main activity. Now we can initialize the recycler view. Home recycler. Now set the layout manager. New linear layout manager. Again, after that, we call the prepare list method. Now we can create adapter. Our adapter class is recycler adapter. new recycler adapter and pass the list person list now we can attach the adapter to the recycler view set adapter and pass the adapter now we can test our project you okay, now run the project here is the list we can check the layout again. Yeah, here we specify some fixed width. I specify width as much parent height into up hundred. Okay, now run it again. And here is the recycler view with images and text on it. So there is no enough enough item to scroll it. So this is how we make a recycler view with images and text on it. So in this video we learn about how to add an external library to our Android Studio project. We add a circular image view external library. We use card view and we use images and text in the recycler adapter. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android, Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching.